My name is Casey D, and I was involved with the usability testing and the limited market release in the development of the AC3 Optimus balloon pump. The AC3 Optimus was designed to be simple. The interaction is very easy. The interface is a tablet that we all use in our everyday life, and it was designed that way to be simple for the end user. I'm Pat Hanlon, and I've been here for 39 years. So I'm a critical care nurse by training and a clinical specialist in heart failure and mechanical assist. And I was the lead designer for the AC3 Optimus. I'm Robin Zappacosta, and I have been at Teleflex for 20 years. I think one of the challenges is the intimidation that clinicians feel when they approach a balloon pump. And so one of the ideas was to design a pump that was easy to use and approachable and made the experience for the user a much simpler process. And so the first thing that we did was we went out and we saw over 150 clinicians in 44 hospitals in 15 countries around the world to try and understand the clinical challenges that they faced using a balloon pump in their environments. Our usability testing included staff members from perfusion departments, cath labs, ICUs, operating rooms. So it really took into consideration a broad range of who would interact with the balloon pump. We developed a number of technologies like the getting started screen, the therapy report. Our main goal was to improve the usability of the system. There are a number of changes in the interaction of the pump or the user that were added in AC3 that had not been introduced in prior balloon pumps. One of the most important was the corner switch for the alarm. Having that corner switch readily accessible made it very easy for the user to be able to address the alarm situation and stop the alarm noise and then be able to get over to the pump to assess what had happened. The AC3 Optimus is the culmination of many years of work in scientific research and customer and clinician feedback on making a balloon pump most effective for the patient. You can find out how to request a demo on iabp.com.